you look gorgeous. You look gorgeous here, too. Ooh, oh. la, la. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming back to the show. Congrats on Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The reviews have been fantastic. This is giant. Yes, this it is, is. Yes. I feel it. You do, right? I Me, do. too. I feel it as well, yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you some questions about uh, filming the movie because there's a lot of it, not, no spoilers, but there's a lot of it that is underwater. Uh, yes, yeah. that's, that's fair to say. I can say that, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, a lot of that's real, right? You're, it's not just CGI. I mean, no, we actually worked underwater. I think that's, I, I mean, I can't act at all, but <laughs> I, acting underwater, I think, would be a whole other level. It is bad. a whole other level. What do you do? How do you do to practice or train? Well, before I did this film, Ryan sent me a text saying, on a scale of one to 10, how good can you swim? And I said, mm, four, if I'm lucky, because I swim, <laughs> I would swim like a panicked puppy, you know? <laughs> And so I knew I had to take some training. So I just took some swimming training. And, but I also did this thing called XPT that is extreme per performance training that was designed by Gabby Reese and, ha uh -huh. and Laird Hamilton. Laird Hamilton, sure. Mm -hmm. And it's um, learning how to improve your breath capacity by performing tasks underwater. So I would carry these weights and walk on the floor of a pool. Yeah, and just keep practicing that. You brought us video? I did. Which is very nice. Here's Lupita <laughs> training underwater for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Look at this. Wait. Ooh. No, that would freak me out. This is otherworldly, huh? Yeah, because... Wow. But, but that's, it's super serene down there. It's kind of a mental uh, training as well. Oh, yeah. It's all about overriding your panic button, you know? Because you really have about two minutes worth of air in, inside you, of yeah. oxygen inside you. So when you panic, you still have two minutes to li live. So it's about trying to prolong that panic so that you can do more underwater. Do you find yourself calmer in just real life and oxygen? You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not underwater? You know, it, it does transfer to real life. It does, right? Yeah, because you have to just find the calm inside you. So it, it, it's definitely helped me in situations of high stress to just zone in and almost go back into the womb. Wow. That's the feeling, right? Like being yeah. surrounded by water. Is you, like you were one of the womb. first actors I read to get cast in Black Panther. Uh, yeah. did, do you, who, who did you talk to when you got it and who knew that you got it and got the role? And did, were you allowed to tell anyone, or it's very secretive? It's Marvel. Oh, no, I, I did. Oh, well, so when I got the role, um, I didn't know what the Black Panther was. I was not familiar with the comic. <laughs> I'm from Kenya. I'm allowed, right? Yeah, so you I, was, yeah. And, yeah, sure, you're allowed, you know, yeah. It's not, it, was, it wasn't my area. And, yeah. and so, so you just went for a meeting with Marvel. Uh, yeah, I went for a meeting with Marvel. They were interested in me. And then uh, I found out that Ryan Coogler was doing this sh movie called Black Panther. And so I hit up my friend, Bill Demerit, who was like a big comic buff. I mean, he lives in comics. Yeah. And so I called him up. I'd gone to school with him, drama school. And so I called him up. I was like, yo, there's this thing called the Black Panther that I'm up for. That I, and please just give me the, da the, the download. Run me down. What is yeah, it? Yeah, like, what is it? And so he gave me like... Full history. I mean, he is such a buff. I go to him every time I'm doing anything with Marvel. Did he freak out? He was like, wait, Ryan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He freaked all the way out. And he was so excited. And he was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be living vicariously through you. <laughs> uh, you know what I thought was funny, too? Last night, we had uh, Winston on the show. Yeah. Uh, Winston, who, who you actually went to drama school with. Yes, I did. And uh, isn't that fun to see each other and you go, oh, we went to school together and now you're in Black Panther together. Yeah. Were you allowed to tell each other, like, dude, did you get the job? I'm in it? Or well, no, I had no idea. I didn't know he was in it for a hot minute. Uh, we had actually watched uh, Avengers, the first Avengers together right after we graduated. And I remember we were in Brooklyn watching it and we we're like, wow, wouldn't it be cool to one day even just be an extra on that film, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're, look at you. Look at you now. Look at, look at you now. I love it. Uh, of course, everyone's talking about uh, Rihanna has a new song. Mm -hmm. uh, this first song in six years that is on the soundtrack. It's coming out. And I was like, oh, man, this is, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. And here's a picture of you guys. <laughs> this went around the internet. That was the day I met her for the first time, and she was sitting next to me. Yeah. I just, that was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> 
This went all over the internet because everyone's like, I want to see this movie. Yeah. Like, what is this movie? Like, Rihanna is like, what is she, a spy? And what is going on? Like, what is the movie there? And they were like, and then it went all over the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Ava... Ava DuVernay was supposed to direct it. And she Issa Rae like... was going to write it. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. OK. So it's still <laughs> out there and it's still available if, you, if Rihanna wants to do it? Or hey, if you... listen. It, when she retires from dominating the world, maybe she'll have time <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah. make a movie like that. Uh... <laughs> uh... I can't imagine how difficult uh, uh, the, the, the filming of the movie was, uh, knowing uh, about Chadwick Boseman and losing uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, he was on our show a bunch of times, and we always loved him. And uh, He was just such a kind and sweet, but big personality guy. What do you remember about Chadwick when you, when you worked with him? Any stories? You know, Chadwick had, he was, he was very quiet. You know, like, he was, um, he was also very funny mm -hmm. and um, quite, he could be mischievous as well. <laughs> um, but he was also a, an eternal student. I remember when we were promoting the first Black Panther, we were all on a plane to South Korea. We were the only ones in first class, <laughs> the whole cast, and we were all in our pajamas and we were tired. We'd been going a mile a minute. And so most of us were asleep and I woke up from a nap, looked over and Chadwick was sitting there with a dense, history book, an African history book. Wow. And I was like, yo, Chadwick, <laughs> right now? Like, <laughs> like, we're exhausted. Yeah, we're How exhausted. Are you doing Why are you, what, what is that? And he went on to tell me what he was reading. And he was just an eternal stu student. He was so curious. He always wanted to just sharpen his mind. And in so doing, he just sharpened his, his um, understanding of the human condition, you know? The, the movie is very uh, emotional, uh, 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 but it's also, uh, I will say, it's also very fun. It's a Marvel movie. It's a superhero movie. It's got action. It's got everything you want in a movie. I mean, this one knocks it out of the park. Uh, I can't wait for everyone to see it. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Lupita Nyong'o in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Take a look. When you left without saying a word, it had I regret not being there with all of you. It was not easy. He was king and Black Panther to everyone, but to me. He was everything. My T'Challa. Lupita Nyong'o, everybody. Black Wakanda Forever is in theaters and IMAX November 11th. Thank you so much. More tonight, so when we come back, everybody, come on back.